In this video, we're going to work out an individual derivative. It is going to be um, one with a trig function. First thing I'm going to do before I start this, I think, is to rewrite this original function just so that we can more clearly see that we have something raised to the third power. So I'm going to rewrite this as the cotangent of a 2x to the fifth plus 1, and then all of that raised to the third power. Sometimes that makes it easier to see that we have an inside function and then our outside function is something being raised to the third power. All right, so we're going to then go ahead and apply a chain rule here since we have an inside function and an outside function to be able to find this derivative. So my outside function is the power, so we're going to go ahead and do power rule. We'll pull that 3 down in front. We'll leave the inside alone, so cotangent 2x to the fifth plus 1, all of that gets left alone. We're going to decrease 1 from the exponent there, so to the second power, and then put in the chain, so then we're going to take the derivative of that inside function, which is going to be the cotangent 2x to the fifth plus 1. All right, now at this point, this is another chain rule because our outside function is cotangent, our inside function is 2x to the fifth plus 1. So everything here is going to stay the same. Um, at this point, I think I'm going to go ahead and pull that back in just to get rid of some of those parentheses. So we'll rewrite here as 3, a cotangent squared of a 2x to the fifth plus 1 just gets rid of some of those parentheses. Now we're going to take the derivative of the outside function, so derivative of cotangent there is going to be a negative cosecant squared. Leave the inside function alone and then multiply that by the chain, the derivative of that inside function, which is the 2x to the fifth plus 1. Last line there will then be taking the derivative of that last portion. So everything here will stay the same. 3 cotangent squared of the 2x to the fifth plus 1. Go ahead and leave the negative cosecant squared of the 2x to the fifth plus 1. And then taking the derivative there, pulling that 5 down there in front, that'll give me a 10x to the 4th. Last step then would be nothing more than to just clean this up, make it look a little bit nicer. So I can take the 10, I can take the negative sign and the 3, pull that all out in front. I think I'll go ahead and pull that x to the 4th out to the front as well. So we'll have a negative 30x to the 4th out in front. And then we'll have the cotangent squared of that 2x to the 5th plus 1 and the cosecant squared of the 2x to the fifth plus 1. So a pretty straightforward trig derivative here, but definitely two chains, all right, keeping that inside and outside function straight makes a difference, and definitely using that ddx notation will help so that you don't lose track of how many chains you have. Um, definitely thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, please share with your friends so they can benefit too. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.